I'm going to make a quick video here and I'm going to talk about the Seneca kill spring trigger and the orientation of whether or not you want it on the cam lock side or on the end stop side. I, I, I ran them both ways and I've had success with each with the, with, the tr with the trigger on this side. I've had success with trigger on this side. And what I've come to realize is when you're handling a lot of snares in a given day, um, what you want is you want a production level re uh, repetition. And so ultimately what you're trying to do, you want this snare to be as effective as possible, but you also want to be able to handle this gear. You know, you don't want to take and have to wait and, 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 and mess around and, and adjust and readjust. You want to be able to take and go there and you want to be able to take and, and set your snare. So, like I said, I've got, this is, um, what I'm doing this year is my wolf snares. I'm, I'm putting the, uh, the Magnum springs on. These are the original springs that Marty designed, uh, work really well, but you can see the amount of throw that it has in the end is increased from a two inch to about a three inch throw is <clears throat> 90% of the time what I'll find when I go and I pick up my animal this spring is completely released well what happens is <clears throat> the animal when it becomes unconscious and it dies and it relaxes and 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 with all the the bulk of the fur and everything else this spring you know when the when the animal starts to relax that spring completely fully opens and exactly in in that respect it does exactly what it's designed to do but for 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 added value i think the idea here is to take and have more distance more travel distance what i'm going to do here is uh so here's uh here's the the original seneca kill spring setup okay um this is the magnum seneca kill spring setup this is how my snares are going to take and get built and again uh like i said whether you take and want to put this washer here and the and the trigger here that's entirely up to you uh the effectiveness of this operation is not hampered either way you're you're th that's not what's going on here but what I've done is, is I have a reason for wanting to take and assemble my snares this way. And I'm going to take and I'm going to show that to you now. Uh, once I'm done with this illustration, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take and I'm going to take and cut this end stop off. I'm going to take and put a washer on there and add another end stop. But I took and I put a trigger on each side here so that I I'm going to take and I'm going to set this snare and I'm going to take and show you and talk to you about why I take and I put my trigger right here. So first thing I'll do is I'm going to take and I'm going to set this trigger. I'll just take and show you that it works. It, it, there's nothing wrong with it there. So this is, this is how I take and I go about assembling my snare. Uh, my snare is fully opened. I take all my action. I have it all in my hand right here. So I'll take and I'll grab it. I'm, I'm left hand on the cam and the whammy and my trigger. But in this case, here's my trigger. So obviously what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and slide all this stuff over here because this is a two hand operation. And this is precisely why I take and put my trigger here. But at any rate, I'm going to take and I'm going to go ahead and set this. And what you want to do is you want to take and you want to set this spring right here against the nut of the setter. And the reason that you want to do that is because the setter 
is offset and you can see that right there so that is a good thing for Joel Average that has purchased this gear to take and outfit your coyote and wolf snares with the Marty Seneca gear um, that the setter works just fine so again here's here's how I take and do it so now again I've got this stuff in my hand and then I take and I bring this spring across and I set this I set the trigger I set it on the long end of the Seneca kill spring so I put it right there okay now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take and you're just gonna take away and out of the equation the spring that you're gonna get if you were to take and put the trigger on the on the end loop side if you were to take and put it on the end loop side what happens is that spring is going to twist on you okay and then what's going to happen is you're going to end up with a hair trigger situation before I did this enough what I thought was happening is I thought that I ended up with triggers that were inferior and that I had to take and bend them more so again I basically I went through this uh, handled it enough did enough of them and had enough conversation uh, with other trappers and precisely Marty uh, who was nice enough to you know he's doesn't leave any stones unturned and he you know he lays it right there on the line he wants the average consumer like myself trapper uh, he wants to be able to handle this gear exactly as it was designed in its most effective means so there you go that's it that's set up so now what I've done is once I've got my anchor set up and I've got my snare attached, this is how I take and I walk up and I handle my snare. So the idea here is all this stuff is in your left hand. What's going to happen is you're ready to go as soon as you take and put your setter on. Your left hand is going to have this thing here. You're not going to have to take and fish for it. You're not going to have to take and find it. You've got this thing in your hand and it's ready to go. And what, what happens at the end of the day is you just become more efficient in in the whole business of assembling your snares of setting your snares assembling your snares uh, being repetitious so there you go that's basically the reason that I take and put that trigger between the between the breakaway and the spring as opposed to outside by the end stop that's the deal that's it in a nutshell. And then we take and we find our snare loop. And here's the thing too, it does not matter. Once you take and you build a snare like this, where you have only end stops because back in the day, people used to like building snares like this. Talk a little bit about this. This snare right here is going to take and kill your animal. Hands down, 100%, boom, this is it. Uh, get a proper neck catch. As, as sure as uh, the moon and the sun, this thing, is gonna, you're going to have a dead coyote, dead fox, dead wolf. Okay? But now what ends up happening is, you heard people talk about the, the form of the snare and how you have to take and and do your pay attention to your loops and all that stuff well it matters when you build a snare like this because if you if you take this end loop here and you have it exactly in line you're always going to have this thing twisted like this it's going to want to take any have you got that happening with your snare that's the reason for it when your snare wants to you know as opposed to sitting perfectly in line like that the reason is because this loop on the bottom here it's adverse to the natural bend of this snare and so that it'll want to take and sit like this. So what you end up having in a snare like this, because you've got a straightaway end stop, it, it doesn't matter. 
what happens is your snare is always going to take and find a scoop. I've played around with this one here a little bit. It's a little bit bent, but that's beside the point. What's happening here is this trigger, every one of, or sorry, this spring and trigger assembly, they're all wound exactly the same. So again, what happens when you take and put that spring on this tool and the way that you handle the trigger, everything is, is repetitious 100%. It's the same from one to the next. You're handling this thing, you're gonna take and set it, you're gonna set it if you, you're holding this like this in your hand, your trigger's gonna be on the back side of this, on the spring. It's gonna be like that every time, every time, every time. So, now back to that business about the natural bend of your snare this spring here the way that i've got it right now all i've got left to do is just put a bend in it right just put a bend in it like this a little bit so that it'll stand up uh stand away from the snare i want to keep it keep my spring back away from not being you know inside the loop here at all if you now had a trigger that you had mounted on the on the on the end stop here and you wanted it on this side all that you would do with this trigger now because the spring is going to stand up like this no matter what it doesn't matter whether or not you're going to take and have it on this side of the snare with this trigger which is what you would be doing it would just be on this side of the cam but with the trigger on the way that I've shown you, between the breakaway and the spring, you're always going to take and find it on this side. It's always going to be on that side with the spring as far as, or with the snare as far as me looking at the snare like this. It's always going to be set up like this, okay? And again, if you take this trigger and you put it on the other side, you're not going to put it here like this because then the trigger is going to take and bite on the end of the spring eyelet here and you're going to have spring in there and it's going to take a twist on you it's going to give you hair trigger action it's it's not good you're going to have this thing go off you're going to take and hurt your fingers it's going to take and snap you you're going to get po'd so that's the deal that right there is a quick little rundown of how you want to take and 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 handle these marty seneca kill springs and triggers and uh, how to be not only effective with them in your dispatch method but also in uh, in your handling it'll take and make it quick and it's gonna keep you be efficient and it's gonna keep you in good spirits when you're trying to take and set 200 snares in one day peace